Solomon. He was a Solomon. Solomon had to rebuild the temple. David couldn't build the temple. David was a man of God's heart. But Solomon, he built the temple because David had too much bloodshed on his hands. And God told David, as much as I want you, I'm just paraphrasing it, you know, I'm just kind of saying what I think God, as much as I would love for you to build my temple, I can't have it built. You got too much blood on your hair. But I'm going to leave it for your son. And then David went to his son and said the same thing. David said to his son, he says, be strong and courageous and do it. Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God, even my God, is with you. And he goes on, he says, and he will not leave you or forsake you to all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. Sometimes the great sometimes the great temptation that we have is to live within our comfort zone. To play it safe and go home back. Solomon could have lived in his comfort zone. And he could have took everything that his dad collected for the temple and he could have used it on himself. And that's what David said. Be courageous. Do what the Lord has set for you to do. God will be, take this and fight with the enemy. Because the enemy is going to come against you and try to convince you not to build that temple for him. So don't give in to that temptation. You can draw strength from it. That God will always be with you. Amen. And then the response. God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can confidently say this. The Lord is my help. I will not fear. For what can man do to me. That is the response that God is wanting for you to understand. That's the response that he wants us to have in our hearts and in our minds. To respond back, what can, the, what can man do to me? What can this world do to me? What can this devil do to me? It's absolutely nothing compared to the glory that I'm going to receive when I get to the other side. Amen. Now, when I'm in this life, guess what? I can stand up against all those pressures. I can stand up against all those temptations because the Lord is with me. He will never leave me nor forsake me. He is my helper. Yes. And he will help me through it. I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Because he will never leave me. Never, never forsake me. Amen. I hope you're getting what the Lord, what His Word is speaking here this morning. I hope we're receiving with open hearts to understand that we need to live, to live this life, that, to live with the, the art of contentment within our life. Amen. And I'll tell you, sometimes you think what's good for you and you don't get it, God's withholding that from you because it might destroy you. You might not be able to handle what God, what, what you think you can handle. And if you get what you desire, that desire might just steal everything from you. It might just destroy you. It might destroy your, 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 your relationship with your spouse. You know, sometimes getting that, that job you want, it's not the best thing because, you know, it may take more hours than you think. It may be harder on your body. The stress and the anxiety that you go through, it's not going to be worth your health. And if you got all this overtime, it's not worth it to, to live this life and not to be not to be living the life with your with your loved ones. And you think about that, that's the two most important things. Living for God and living for your neighbors. Amen. 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 If you can learn to do those two things, you got everything. You don't need nothing else but those two things. That's what Christ said. These are the two, these are the two greatest commandments. If you would just obey these two commandments, you got everything else left. Amen. I like the rust to come up. We're gonna pray for rust. The altars are open right now. If you need prayer, I want you to come up. If you need prayer in your body, prayer in your finances, prayer in anything. We want you to come up because we know God. He is with us.